Welcome to LFA's video on tuning your RTP9 rotary tablet press. Knowing how to adjust your RTP9 is critical for the safe use of this tablet press, otherwise you may damage your machine and tooling. On your machine you have a pressure control, weight control, speed control and your emergency stop button. When you're first tuning your RTP9, you need to first have your pressure controls at their lowest setting by turning it clockwise all the way. If you remove the side panels on your RTP9 with the keys that come with it, you'll see how much your pressure control has been adjusted. To begin with, we need it all the way to the 6 on the dial, which will lower the cam wheel. Next we'll decrease the fill depth all the way, which will reduce the weight of the tablet. Now we're going to set the speed to 20, this is the ideal speed to tune your machine whilst it's running. If for any reason you need to stop the machine, you can press the emergency stop button, which will give us an error code on the control panel. Turn the emergency button clockwise to reactivate the RTP9, and then press the red button on the control panel to reset the machine. Finally, to start the machine, we need to press the green start button. Now we've adjusted the machine so the punch pressure is fully off and the tablet thickness is off, we're able to slowly increase these controls without jamming our machine. The tablets will come out at first very soft and thick, so first we'll start to increase the weight a little, Always do this in small increments. As mentioned, they will start very soft and thick as you continue to increase the weight. They will also start to become a bit harder due to more powder in the die ball. It's also advised to keep some precise scales nearby so you can check the weight of your tablets during this process. Now we'll start to increase the punch pressure. Again, do this in small increments whilst checking your tablets. They will slowly decrease in thickness due to the pressure applied to them. Constantly check how firm your tablets are. In most cases, you'll simply be able to feel the strength of your tablet. However, you can use a tablet hardness tester to get a more accurate reading of how hard your tablet is. Once you have a tablet with the correct weight and thickness, you'll slowly be able to increase the speed for a full batch. For more information, products and guides, please visit www.lfatabletpresses.com.